Hi friends, welcome to another Gab by the bag. The bag that we are gabbing about today is from Louis Vuitton. It is a new addition to my collection. It is a new addition to the brand. <laughs> and it is the Petite Sac Plat. And mine is in the monogram version. So uh, today I thought I'd talk a little bit about the bag. Uh, I will do a uh, what fits portion and I'll do some mod shots. So if you're considering buying this bag, hopefully that will be helpful. And I'm including all of that because this bag is pretty hard to come by and I really did a lot of research before I committed to getting it um, because it's a little bit special. It's a little bit different. It's quite tiny. It's quite expensive for what it is and it's difficult to find. So before I even emotionally committed to looking for it and purchasing it, I wanted to have a pretty good sense, like an 80% or better um, chance that I would actually get on with it. So uh, I'll share some of my thoughts uh, with you and um, maybe that'll be helpful. All right, so this is the bag. Mine came from the it was a web order. It arrived safely, soundly in its box. No ribbon, no bag or anything like that, but I think that's just kind of one of the things that's happening with Louis Vuitton because I actually ordered three items that came in the mail and none of them came with box or any very special packaging. The strap was rolled up like a uh, cinnamon bun inside it there. And then at the very bottom, there was the SKU number and the, um, the textile card. So that's all. Pretty no frills uh, shipping. Thanks, LV. Um, so you've seen maybe some reviews of this bag. I won't spend too, too much time with it. Uh, you've probably heard it's quite a structured bag. It's more like a box than a bag. Do you hear that? Like the corners are quite stiff, you cannot press. The corners are kind of like the corners of the toiletry, not the toiletry, the, uh, yeah, the toiletry pouch 15, you know, nice and hefty. Look at that, and I'm squeezing, I mean, right? But like that, it's got uh, two little handles. The handles are already pre-treated. Uh, it is the brown textile lining that's pretty common in Louis Vuitton bags. It does have one pocket that comes out pretty easily, but it's quite flat, so pocket is a strong word for what it is. Look at that, it's basically paper thin, um, and you can fit in what you can fit in, but that's not a lot. Um, and then it's got the made in sticker on the back side of the card, and um, not the made in, the date code, and then it's got the made in there and mine is made in Spain. Um, I don't believe any of them are being made in the US right now but what do I know. The strap is removable uh, but it is not uh, adjustable so that's something to keep in mind uh, and it has a little d-ring there that you could attach. I have seen and heard people attaching the d-ring to different parts of the bag. You know, that's your prerogative. You can also certainly attach it to this portion instead of the designated attachment area, whatever, you know. Um, I've also seen and heard of people attaching it to the same side, you know, so I've got it attached here and then it, instead of crossing it over, just attaching it to here preference right all preference but the point is it is not adjustable but it is detachable and when it attaches um, the side that's not hanging on your body I do find kind of tends to stick up like that but I mean it's a tiny stick up so it's nothing that gets in the way of the use of the bag or anything um, like that uh, it is one of these uh, lobster clasps lobster clasps so you just attach it like so and this is it there's not a whole lot to tour on the bag uh, so I think I'll stop here with the general description and I will now switch into the what fits all right friends let's go to the what fits portion um, it is a mini bag right so I'm not going to even attempt to insert ridiculous things in it just for the sake of it. I do intend to keep this pretty straightforward and to the point. So this is the stuff I'm going to try to uh, fit into this little bag. And so let's see what actually works. All right, so um, one of my biggest concerns about getting this bag was if it would fit 
uh, phone, specifically an iPhone 10, which is what I use with a pop socket. A pop socket is a must for me. It's absolutely required. So if the bag doesn't fit a phone with the pop socket, which adds a little bit of heft. I um, do want to start with that because I think plenty of people use, I mean, I know plenty of people use pop sockets. So once the phone is in there with the pop socket, the space that's left is kind of, I mean, you can see it <laughs> for yourself. So we're not off to a roaring start on this, but let's see what else can fit because uh, if it doesn't carry anything, then it's not a good bag to have, right? Um, so after the pop socket phone, I will add my Louis Vuitton card holder. Um, again, it's a mini bag, so be prepared to be carrying like a card holder instead of a full size wallet. And then my keys, totally non-negotiable. Where am I going without my keys? Right. So uh, I do find that with this keys, you do have to kind of put them at a diagonal. And it does Once fit. I've got those things in. Anything else that I can fit in, I'm considering a bonus. So if you put it on the other side, it's just not in securely, securely. So you can't imagine that this is a secure way to transport AirPods, right? But it does fit. And then another bonus, if I can get it, would be um, a lip balm because I am wearing a mask most of the time that I leave the house and lip balms rub off and I often need to reapply. I would want to carry one. So these are the essentials, right? Like this is the basics. This is the minimum I need to leave the house if I'm just running out to do curbside pickup at a store and I know I'm not even going into shop and I'm not likely to pick up anything that I need to bring with me. Yeah, so that's basically what goes in there. Just for kicks, let's say you do not have a six key holder, then Perhaps you are a clay carrier. The clay carrier is pretty much the same jam. I find if you put it kind of as an at an angle so that it goes into one of the corners of the bag, it does work fine. And then you have the spaces where I put the lip balm the first time. You put the lip balm right there. And then you could put your AirPods. And that's a little bit more secure. I think I still have the um, card holder in here. All right, so let's say... You've got that, but you are not someone who carries a phone in their bag. I know plenty of people say, oh, I carry my phone in my hand. I use it so much, it might as well stay there anyway. Then perhaps then you can get away with carrying a heftier wallet. This is the Zoe wallet. I mean, full disclosure, I'm not using it at the moment. So there's nothing in it which, you know, honestly does impact how it fits because it's pretty small and smushy. But, you know, if you had minimal things in there, that's what it would fit like so this is again without the phone you could possibly get your uh keys in there uh, if you're somebody who carries a clay and a six key holder all right so you could get that in i mean it's kind of basically at the very very top if that concerns you then beware of that um and you might still be able to put your airpods that is giving me a little bit of a bulge, but nothing too bad. All right, so that's what fits. Uh, it's not going to fit a ton of stuff, but I was relieved that it fits my essentials, including my iPhone 10 with the pop socket. Um, I've seen folks who put uh, tiny hand sanitizers in there, and if I had a tiny hand sanitizer, I would put that in there, but this is the hand sanitizer that I carry. There's no way I'm gonna fit much in there if I do the hand sanitizer and honestly uh, I'm a fan of washing hands I have not that much faith in hand sanitizers anyway but you know I know people like it so if you wanted to oh looks like that does fit so uh, if you do and decide to put a hand sanitizer that's got any heft to it in there then you are sacrificing some precious real estate um, I know I said I wasn't going to try to put ridiculous things, but I happen to be standing in front of my mini pochette, so just for giggles, but that's it, right? Like, that's the entire thing. Maybe a chapstick, but I don't know why you would do that unless you put everything you wanted to carry in here and then wanted to really carry this. I don't know. That's ridiculous. Okay, right, so uh, just for fun, just so it's been done. We've got the um, toiletry pouch 15 and that does not fit I'm not even going to push yeah I don't want to play that game we're not going there but you know how I was saying the edges of the 
bag are the same as the edge of the toiletry 15. That's what I mean is that they're not squeezable, they're not mushable, it's pretty rigid, it is what it is. So yeah folks, that's it. This is exactly how I intend to carry this bag. I intend to carry it with the pop socket facing in. I intend to slide my card in. I intend to angle my keys so that they're a little bit in a kitty corner. I'll put my chapstick and my AirPods and I'm good to go for just curbside pickup, running into the mall real fast and things like that. So uh, that concludes the what fits portion um, of this video. Lastly, I do have some mod shots or it'll be a mod video that I will uh, insert now. So this is the total length of the bag strap. I am five foot four and this is how it fits on me as a shoulder bag. I don't tend to wear my bags as shoulder bags, so you won't catch me in these streets with them like this, but this is what it might look like if you were a five foot four person who plans to wear it as a shoulder bag like that. If you wear your bags like me, as crossbody, this is what it will look like. And like I said, you know, the outside of the body handle does stick up a little bit if you attach it to the designated ring area, but this is what it would look like. And then you can top carry this bag. Um, so I'll just show you quickly what it might look like if you were interested in doing that. The strap does hang down fine if you decide to hand carry it so it doesn't like pop up in an awkward way, but it would look like that. All right, InstaFam, that's it. That's my gab about this bag. Let me know your thoughts. Is this on your wish list? What are your concerns and considerations about it? Um, would love to hear from you if you're interested in adding it, if you would never add it, why or why not? So let's be in touch. Please gab back. Take care. Peace.